Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I have a crafting video today. We are going to make this beautiful spring wreath together and I think you're gonna love it. To make this beautiful spring wreath, I purchased foam eggs with little hangers on them, a grapevine wreath, some sheer sparkly blue, pink, and purple ribbon along with this pretty crisscross multicolor ribbon. I bought pink, blue, and purple mesh, some silver pipe cleaners, these pretty little dogwood flowers, and I also bought these beautiful shimmery eggs on stems and everything I got at the Dollar Tree. So everything was priced reasonably. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by taking some mesh and cutting about six inches. I'm gonna do a few in the pink, a few in the blue, and a few in the purple. Next, I'm going to take my multicolored ribbon. I am going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut at an angle so that I have a pretty end. I'm going to make it approximately six inches long. It doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to do the same thing at this end so that the ends match like this. I'm also going to take a few pieces of my shimmery purple and cut it at approximately six inches long. And do the same with my blue and pink shimmery ribbon. I'm now going to make a grouping of about 13 pieces together between the pink, the purple, and the blue mesh and my ribbon. I'm going to start with a pink and I'm going to roll it up at an angle. I'm then going to take a purple and roll it up at an angle to make them a little bit longer and I'm gonna crisscross these. Now I'm gonna take a blue, roll it up at an angle, and put it right in the middle. I'm gonna do this over and over again, intertwining a little bit of my shimmery ribbon in there. Right now I have four pieces. I'm gonna continue this pattern until I have 13 pieces with my top piece being this pretty multicolored ribbon. I'm now gonna put my multicolored piece right on top. I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go right around the middle and pull it to the back as tight as I can and twist the pipe cleaner as I pinch the ribbons together so that now I have this beautiful piece that will attach to my wreath when I'm ready. I'm gonna keep making some more and then we'll put them all together. All right, I've made some more. I also did some in single colors. So this whole bunch is all pink and I actually added on one of my pink eggs to this. I did a blue one as well and attached a blue egg to it. So I've made a few different pieces. I'm now going to put all of them together on the wreath I'm going to intertwine some of my flowers and my eggs and put it all together. I think I have enough bundles made, so I am going to start attaching them to my wreath. I'm just going to twist them around the back and then I have taken a flower a stem and I've just trimmed it off like this 
and I've wrapped it around behind the back of the wreath and attached it as well with the pipe cleaner back here. I am just going to continue around the wreath and start filling it in. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this beautiful spring wreath. I think it turned out really nice. I love the spring colors and it's gonna look beautiful hanging on the front door. I love the touch of the flowers and the eggs and I'm really excited now that spring is getting a little bit closer and I'm excited to hang this on my door as Easter gets closer, but I wanted to help you make this. Go get your items ahead of time so that you have it ready in time for spring and Easter. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!